Hello my dear friends, welcome to Rakesh Valasa YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will discussing about basic settings in AutoCAD software. Before going to draw any sketch or any drawing, we need to do few important settings in AutoCAD software. The first important setting is units. For that purpose, we are using shortcut keys U N enter. Second important setting is dimension style manager. For that purpose, we are using shortcut keys D enter. Third important setting is drafting settings. For that purpose, we are using O S enter or A C enter. The next important setting is limits settings. We are using limits enter or limax enter. The next important setting is UCS icon set UCS icon settings. The shortcut key is UCS icon enter. The last important setting is zoom settings. Let us see how to do these settings in AutoCAD software. You can see here this. You can see this is the graphical user interface of AutoCAD software. After opening AutoCAD software, it is appear like this one. The first important setting is units. U N enter. U N enter. In that drawing unit settings, you can see it. Length type. Here I am choosing decimal. Precision zero. Here showing different precisions are there. Among that, you can choose the required required or given sketch format precision. For example, if the given sketch having the only single digits, you can choose zero. If the given sketch having a uh, fraction values you can choose the uh, your required precision values here I'm choosing for our engineering drawing purpose here I'm choosing you precision value 0 the next important thing in drawing units that is insertion scale units to scale inserted content when you click on this arrow it shows different types of units among that you can choose the required units that is based upon your sketch for example in the sketch having all units are all dimensions are in millimeters so you can choose millimeters then click on ok this is the very very important setting in AutoCAD software the next important setting is dimension settings the shortcut key is D enter one window is appear that is dimension style manager in that you you click on modify it's showing different menus that is like lines symbols and arrows text fit primary units alternate units tolerance you can see let us see first click on lines it's showing uh, dimension lines in that uh, color line type line weight you can select uh, your required color that is depending upon your requirement that, that, that is depending upon your uh, appearance otherwise you can leave it in the uh, you can see it the background color is black color so on the background color white is appear so that's why I have chosen default one is white color if you are changing background color you can change the color line color for example background color is white you can choose black color for dimension lines color next line type here different types of lines are there for example you can click on load it's showing dash line ISO dash space line it's showing different types of line types from, from this uh, menu you can choose your required line type then click on ok otherwise you can leave it 
the next one is line weight this is the uh, this is only for applying line thickness otherwise you can leave this one also next move to symbols and arrow this is the very very important in our engineering drawing we are using closed filled arrow heads that's why i have chosen first second leader that is closed filled arrow heads uh, when you click on this arrow head showing different types of uh, arrow heads but i have chosen only closed filled arrow head that is uh, uh, that is a standard one standard arrow head let us uh, we move to the arrow size this is also uh, based upon your requirement otherwise you can leave it next move to the text uh, in the text text appearance it show in different options let us say first one text style uh, just you can click on these three dots uh, one uh, window is appear that is text style in that uh, uh, two, two are very very important that is font name here I have chosen Times New Roman next font style is uh, it's showing uh, four options in that I am choosing uh, regular then click on set current then close next one is text height you can enter your uh, uh, requirement next uh, text placement is vertical above text horizontal that is centered these are the standard one in the right side text alignment i have chosen iso standard next move to the primary units in the primary units unit format is very very important that is decimal uh, civil students are using engineering next precision is zero if you want to your requirement you can choose 0 0.00 or 0 that is depending upon uh, given sketch next uh, uh, this is regarding about uh, modify uh, dimension style manager then click on ok then click on set current close the next important setting is drafting settings for that purpose we are using shortcut key F E enter move to the ab object snap in the object snap object snap modes are very very important when we are drawing a sketch you can easily identify the snap modes that is end point midpoint center etc for that, pur that purpose we are choosing select all next uh, move to the options in that options uh, if you want to change uh, just you can move to the selection if you want to increase or decrease the pick box size then click on apply uh, here one more important settings there go to the display uh, click on colors uh, you can see here uniform background colors default one is black if you want to change you can click on this arrow head you can choose the your favorite or your required color otherwise you can leave it then click on apply ok then click on ok the next important setting is limit settings here uh, two methods are there you can use limit settings limit settings or limax settings let us see what the difference between limit settings and limax settings the so first one is limits l i m i t s limits here in the command window it asking that lower left corner that means this one that is 0 comma 0 enter next it asking that specify upper right corner that means uh, uh, length total length comma total height value here here i am giving a4 size drawing sheet size a4 sheet that is length is 297 and height is 210 297 
comma 210 then click on enter this is the limits let us see what, what is uh, limax l i m m a x in command window it asking that uh, enter the new value it not asking the lower limit and uh, right upper limit it asking only uh, limax value that means uh, directly it asking sheet size that means length comma height that is 297 comma 210 enter this is the difference between limits and limax setting the next setting is ucs icon setting ucs means user coordinate system icon you can see here this is xy means ucs icon when we draw a sketch it moving in the space so that's why we need to fix that that ucs icon at the left bottom corner so the shortcut key is ucs ucs icon enter no origin showing different options i am choosing no origin and enter the last important setting is zoom settings z enter z enter a enter this is the z enter a enter this is the regarding basic settings in AutoCAD software for example I want to draw a line in the space L enter L enter specify first point specify next point next give the dimension that is uh, applying linear dimension just I am moving the cursor here one square box is appear in green color that means uh, we have given that uh, uh, dropping settings snap uh, we, are, we have select all snap modes that's why this square symbol is appear otherwise this square symbol is not appear start point next end point and drag down side see here here arrow heads are appear and text is also appear so that's why we need to do do the settings do the basic settings in autocad software otherwise uh, this arrow arrow heads text is uh, may be visible or invisible this is the regarding basic settings in autocad software uh, the last important point is how to restore uh, these tools in autocad software let us see S E enter click on options in that click on profile you can see here reset you are resetting a profile in use which will reset the state of AutoCAD do you want to continue S yes. then click on OK here uh, this is the uh, when uh, after installation uh, the AutoCAD software appear like this in the previous one one I have I have chosen classic mode if you are missing any tool you can follow this procedure and get the uh, previous graphical user interface in AutoCAD software I hope uh, this video is very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates